Um, it's interesting because I, I, I interviewed Eno last year uh, and we talked about his relationship with his back catalogue because, um, as I'm sure you're aware, Eno isn't someone who likes to, to, to look backwards. But it was interesting. And it, I just read a, a, a few para, a quick paragraph from which I think is kind of illuminating about his relationship with his back catalogue. He said, when I listened back to those things, he was talking about the first two solo albums, it makes me realise that we aren't one person. We get the impression that here's Brian Eno and he's been this person for all that time. But actually, it hasn't. It's been a whole series of different people. I can hear that Brian Eno from 1974 and think, Christ, that really was a different person. So, um, should we start with... Um, some music. Some music, perhaps. Right. I, the first thing I thought we'd kick off with is, is Needle in the Camel's Eye, track one, side A, um, which I think is is... Terrific because of the way that it bridges Eno's Roxy career with his solo career. It features virtually everyone from the band apart from Ferry. Um, and as opening tracks of any album go, it's absolutely terrific. So. Um, I think it's kind of interesting, you know, I'm sure you all know that, you know, in July 73, when, when Eno left Roxy Music, um, there's a terrific interview that he gave Nick Kent from the NME where he was talking about, you know, all the various projects that he, he could have gone into, most of which were fabricated. There's a, there's one called Luala and the Lizard Girls, who he said would perform live in laundrettes and massage parlours. Um, my favourite is the Plastic Eno Band, um, <laughs> who would make music only from found musical instruments. Uh, and he was apparently working on, on an album called The Magic Wurlitzer Synthesizer of Brian Eno Plays at Winchester Cathedral. Mm -hmm. But what is interesting, I think, and this is a critical part of Eno's modus operandi from there on in is the first thing that he does after leaving Roxy Music or the first thing that's released is the No Pussyfooting album with Robert Fripp and between in the sort of four years between Here Come the Warm Jets and Before and After Science his collaboration he's, he's a serial collaborator he establishes himself as a serial collaborator working with everyone from John Cale to, to television to Robert Wyatt to, to, to David Bowie Gavin Bryars Genesis Cluster and this process feeds back through the solo albums, the, the rotating players. There's always a kind of a core of musicians on these four albums. But Phil Manzanera is, is, is critical. Um, but recurring players like Phil Collins, uh, you know, the, the sort of the secret history of Phil Collins' session work throughout the 70s is another conversation and is, is pretty amazing, actually. But, you know, Robert Wyatt. Uh, uh, and the albums form a kind of a meeting point between the more experimental Roxy projects like Quiet Sun and Ace One and the kind of the British progressive jazz scene, I suppose, people like Hadfield in the North, Matching Mole, um, King Crimson, of course, Robert Fripp is another is another one of the key players on this. So it's it's all really fascinating. It's not just really brilliant music and all the things there, the African polyrhythms and, and, and ambient and, and all the things that, 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 that happen along the way. But it's the kind of, it's the people that he's involved with who are all really interesting guys. Manzanera is an amazing guy. Um, Fripp, you know. Um, so anyway, I'm waffling a bit, I'm sure. But let's play uh, another track from Here Come the Warm Jets. I chose On Some Far Away Beach because I think a lot of the, the... You've got to remember as well with Here Come the Warm Jets, this is the first time that Eno's voice has really appeared on any of these records. You know, he did choruses on Roxy Records or, or backing vocals. But this is the first time you're really hearing Eno's voice. And... A lot of the time he's using it like another instrument. So uh, that may sound obvious thing to say, but but at times he can be very arch. At times it can be very clipped. Um, he's only really seems to to be not sincere, but 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 warm on on some faraway beach. And I think it's a very beautiful song, the beautiful piano motif going through it. So let's let's have a bit of this.
that sounds amazing. I've got a vinyl pressing, an original vinyl pressing of that, and it doesn't sound even on this speed system. Doesn't sound anywhere as good. Moving on then to so there's two albums in 1974. There's Here Come the Warm Jets, and then Taking Tiger Mountain by Strategy. Uh, a smaller band, uh, less people. Manzanera again, Wyatt. Um, the arrival of the oblique strategies cards. Um, they kind of feed. They they feed less into taking Tiger Mountain than I think they do later albums. But what is interesting is the way that although Manzanera's guitar, particularly, is still very dominant on this record, uh, as we'll hear in 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 a second on one track I've chosen. Um, but also, there's other things going on. Uh, a, a, a developing interest in less conventional forms of music, which will or conventional musical instruments, which perhaps goes back to the plastic Eno band idea. But um, so, third uncle, um, I kind of chose this because the Manzanera guitar work on it is terrific. Um, it's Astonishingly kind of punky, which is, is kind of interesting for 74, obviously. I, I chose China My China uh, because there is a typewriter solo in there. I, this is kind of my point about, about Eno using non-conventional things you know to create music and and he sets it he cues it up in the song i mean it's kind of quite meta in its way where uh, the line the two lines preceding the typewriter solo are these poor girls are such fun they know what god gives them fingers for to make percussion over solos click 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 so um let's go with china my china oh, what god gave them their fingers for 